Anybody who thinks that the agitation for Biafra has died should better think again because there are very important developments that has taken place and we want to bring you up to date on what is happening, especially outside of the shores of Nigeria. First, there is now what is called Biafra Government in Exile, B-G-I-E which is just newly formed. And maybe you don't know it, but Biafra has now a prime minister who is in exile. We will give you details of these stories, but before then, please like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. In this channel, we bring you news about Southeast Nigeria, and we tell you everything happening around the Igbos, for the Igbos and against the Igbos. In fact, this channel, they say that we are very, very Igbotic and we have no apologies. Now, let's get into the details of what is happening. You might know Simon Ekpa, a self-declared disciple of Mazen Nandekan, who is living in Finland and from there has been propagating the issue about Biafra. Many have called him names, saboteur, anti-Ibo, pro-Ibo, but the guy keeps moving on. Without, it's like a moving trend that nobody could stop or stand on its way. Simon Ekpa, who belongs to IPOB, whichever group or section of IPOB has enacted what they call the Biafra government in exile, and it constitutes of certain well-placed individuals, mostly, mostly outside of the shores of Nigeria. And before you could say what is going on, Simon Ekpa himself has been appointed the prime minister of Biafra, but in exile. How did this happen? He it's not only that he is appointed, he has started acting as one because he has just forwarded a letter to the United Nations complaining about what is happening in Nigeria. He appealed to the United Nations actually to intervene with the government of Nigeria for the unconditional release of Mazen Nam de Kano and all Biafrans that are held captive in Nigeria. He didn't stop there. He also called for a peaceful referendum to be conducted to enable the peaceful and bloodless exit of Biafra from Nigeria. According to this letter, Ekpa explained that the indigenous people of Biafra set up the government in exile as part of their determination to secede from Nigeria, citing various reasons for IPOB's desire for the Southeast region to exit from Nigeria. The Biafra government in exile, as stated in the letter to the UN General Assembly, will be responsible for everything, diplomatic, foreign relations, arrangements, agreements, negotiations, and pacts with other nations, and interested or other organizations on behalf of the Biafra people. And the Ekpa also emphasized that the government in exile should be accorded diplomatic privileges as due to any government official. Wow, this is very audacious. And look, you might be sleeping in your house one day and you find out that you're a Biafran and that you're no more a Nigerian. I don't know what is going on. Ekpa went ahead to even list officials of the Biafra government in exile. There are offices like head of finance, deputy head of finance, defense minister, home and liaison, diplomatic and foreign affairs, coastal region orientation coordinator, Group Secretary, Department of Planning and Strategy, Information, 
uh, Media and Communication Secretary to World Igbo Union. Okay. I thought it used to be World Igbo Congress. This one is now World Igbo Union. Military, Ministry of Health, Education, Oil and Gas, Pharmacy and Laboratory Science, Transport and Logistics, along with, the respective, along with their respective names. I'm not, I'm not going to read all the names to you now because probably most of the names will not make any meaning to you because all of them are living outside of Nigeria. The only person you could easily recognize might be Simon Ekpa himself. So he's just moving ahead, head on, and there is no stopping him with the IPOB. By the way, there is a section of IPOB called the, upper, uh, the autopilot, and that is what um, Simon Ekpa is superheading. There is the other IPOB that do, uh, do not agree with him. So somehow there are two sides to IPOB for now, but that's not the issue. The important thing is that he, they are taking the struggle to a higher level, which raises a whole lot of questions. Now, if things go the way they are planning, then it becomes country against country, Biafra against Nigeria. But who will accord them the diplomatic recognition that they so desire? Who will do that? Which countries will recognize this government in exile? Is the United Nations going to answer them? And there are rules that permit them to operate on a global scale and get diplomatic uh, access like other countries, diplomats do. This is the very, very big question. But knowing our people and how these things work, there is an organization inside Nigeria, or Hanez Ndibu, Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization. The secretary, Mr. Kechuku Isi Guzoro, has already um, issued an instant rebuttal call it a press release and saying, we do not recognize Biafra government in exile. That Simon Ekpa and his cohorts are on their own. And he's saying that nobody should listen to Simon Ekpa. The other side of IPOB, I'm 100% sure, we be having a laugh, saying this is an imposter. You know, this kind of languages fly around very often around this Biafran issue. But is it time that this thing will be taken seriously? Because when there is a government in exile and the offices have human faces, then maybe it's time somebody have to listen. Do you think that referendum is coming in Nigeria to determine the fate of Biafra? Do you think that Simon Ekpa is going to go military as somebody is saying we don't want to fight another war again? These things we will be bringing you updates as they happen. But just to let you know, this is what is going on. Please help us grow this channel. Let every Igbo man and woman connect to this channel because we are giving everything you need to know. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in our next update. You are welcome to our Ebotic channel.